My name is Sridhar and I am from India. Here I show you how to back up your data on your Mac for the first time onto the time capsule. In my case, by the time I bought the time capsule, I already had almost 1.5 terabytes of data on my Mac. If I wanted to back it up or Wi-Fi onto the time capsule disk, it would have taken very, very long time. Best solution is to back it up for the first time using the Ethernet cable. Connect one end of the Ethernet cable on to the LAN port on your Mac and the other end to the LAN port on the time capsule. Make sure that you don't connect it to the WAN port on the time capsule. A WAN port has a circle symbol above it. Now go to system preferences, click on time machine, click on next to on, tab should be next to on. Select show time machine in the bar if you would like to see it in the menu bar. Click on options. If you would like to exclude certain directories from being backed up, click on plus and select the directory and click on exclude. As you see, I have excluded folders, downloads, movies. Movies is pretty big and I don't like to back up movies. Save the selections. If you would like to encrypt the backups, click on select disk. Under the available disk, click on the disk available and select the encrypt backups. Initiate the backup and you can see that it starts backing the data up at a fast rate. Everything is fine until you notice that internet is not working because your Mac thinks internet is coming through ethernet cable rather than Wi-Fi. To change this behavior, go back to system preferences by clicking on show all and then from there click on network tab. Once you are on the network tab, click on the cog. From the pop-up, select the set service order. From the pop-up, make sure that Wi-Fi comes ahead of Ethernet. Generally, Ethernet has the preference, meaning Ethernet is the first option here. I already changed it. What you can do is, you can simply select it like this and just pull it. See this? Ethernet came down from and Samsung became the second preference. Now I am going to make it second op, second one again. That's it. Now Ethernet is the second option. So this way Wi-Fi has the preference over Ethernet and click OK. Then Mac knows it first it needs to connect to the Wi-Fi even when Ethernet cable is connected to the computer. Okay. And that's it. Now your internet starts working at the same time your data is being backed up at a fast rate through Ethernet cable. Everything works great. Once the data is backed up for the first time, you can just simply take the Ethernet cable off and connect your uh, time capsule to either your existing wireless network or make it the wireless access point, whatever works. And from the second time, since the difference in data will be backed up, it would happen anyway faster, even if it is Wi-Fi. So this setup has been working great for me. And first time, even though I had 1.5 terabytes of data, it did not take much time as I was as I backed it up over the Ethernet cable. Okay. Uh, let me know if you. Oh, by the way, make sure that you click apply. Let me know if you have any problems or questions and I'll try to help you. Thanks.